என்னாகமும் பதினான்கு இருபத்தி நாலு என்னுடைய தாசனாகிய காலே வேறு ஆவியை உடையவனாயிருக்கிறபடியினாலும் உத்தமமாய் என்னை பின்பற்றுகிறதுனாலும் அவன் போய் வந்த தேசத்தில் அவனை சேர பண்ணுவேன் அவன் சன்னதியார் அதை சுகந்தித்து கொள்வார்கள் மை சர்வெண்ட் கேலப் பிகாஸ் ஹீ ஹேஸ் அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் ஸ்பிரிட் இன் ஹிம் அண்ட் ஹஸ் ஃபாலோட் மீ ஃபுல்லி ஐ வில் பிரிங் இன் டு த லேண்ட் வே ஹி வெண்ட் அண்ட் இஸ் டிசென்டன்ஸ் ஷேல் இன்ஹெரிட் த லேண்ட் no this is the word that god gave us we are called nammude vaalkaila how much are we faithful to god that is the first thing that we want to know moondu karyangal we can look from the life of kale uh, moondu karyangal namm kale budiya vaalkaila endu paaka mudiyum he was faithful no matter what the season was he was faithful no matter what it went through avan und 45 varshangalaga avan காரியங்களை செய்து வந்ததாக பார்க்குறோம் ஏன்னா வீட் கெட் டயர்ட் ஒரு வருஷத்துலேயே நம்ம ரொம்ப டயர்ட் ஆயிரும் ஒரு மாதத்துலேயே சில நேரத்தில் நம்ம டயர்ட் ஆயிடுவோம் பட் ஹியர் ஹீ ஹேஸ் பீன் ஃபெய்த்ஃபுல் இன் ஆல் த ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபார்ட்டி ஃபைவ் இயர்ஸ் என்று பார்க்குறோம் டியூட்ரானமி சாப்டர் ஒன் வர்ஸ் நைன்டீன்லேருந்து படிக்கும்போது தென் ஆஸ் த லார்ட் ஆர் காட் கமாண்டட் வீ சென்ட் அவுட் ஃப்ரம் ஹோரேப் அண்ட் வென்ட் த்ரூ அவுட்ஸ் த ஹில் கண்ட்ரி ஆஃப் அமோரைட்ஸ் through all the vast land of dreadful desert that you may have seen and so we reached kardesh barnia and the kardesh barnia lende avanga enga poranga nu sonna they went to spy the land ad ellarkum therinda kada they went to spy the land and then then they came back marbadiyam avanga vandha velaiyila adile mukkiyamana or paathinga na 26th adhigaram but you were unwilling to go you rebel against the command of the lord in the 26 la solugirathu and then you grumbled in the tents and said lord hates us so he brought us out of egypt and so li anga murumurutha karyate paarkrom 29th vasanathla solugirathu do not be terrified do not be afraid the lord god who is going before you will fight for you and did for you as it was in his in the egypt la அவர் எப்படியாக நமக்கு சண்டை போடுறதுக்கு உதவினாரோ அதே போல் உதவுவார் என்று சொல்லி சொன்னதுக்கு பிற்பாடாகும் அண்ட் இந்த டெசர்ட் தே தே யூ சா ஹவு காட் ஹேட் கேரிட் அவுட் எல்லாமே நடந்துச்சு பட் தென் தே வர் நாட் வில்லிங் டு கோ அண்ட் சி ஆஃப்கோர்ஸ் அதுக்கு பிற்பாடு முப்பத்தி ஐந்தாவது வசனத்தில் காட் சேஸ் நாட் அ மேன் ஆஃப் திஸ் ஈவில் ஜென்ரேஷன் வில் சி த குட் லேண்ட் ஐ ஸ்வோர் டு கீவ் யுவர் ஃபாதர்ஸ் and they tell you that except Caleb son of Jebuna he will see it and i will give him and his descendants the land he set foot on because he followed the lord wholeheartedly andavare avan pinpetina padiyal avanude and the desathe avan sugandharikkadhu mattum illa avanude sandhyandhiya irukku and the desathile avar periya karyathe seidhar so this is what we need to understand idudeya marupakkam enga irukudhu nu sonna yoshua 14th adhigaram 1 il indu 14 vaschinga na you will see he talks to joshua now all these years na ivlo naala faithful ah irundirukken yoshua 4 1 il indu 14 padikumbodhu we see him as a person who has accomplished 40 varshangal adha mudithu vittu adhukku pirpaadaga andha edathile varugirar andha edathile vande he is speaking to this person called joshua joshua and the leader ah irukra velaila he is speaking to joshua and saying see i have been faithful all this while namma in indha naalla can we ask ourselves can i say i am faithful to god no matter what no caleb is told to be a fighter avan joshua ta vandu kekumbodhu avanude vayasu 85 aga irundhathu he stepped forward and said give me this land of horeb i am going to fight and the edatha enakku kudu and the edathil inna kananiyargal irukkarargal and the edatha naan i will go and inherit the land endru solli he talks to them and when we look into the history adhe edatha he gives back to his daughter as a gift on her marriage because she asked that land yen and the land is called a very fertile land endru solugrom so it has been blessed god has blessed 
Caleb because of his faithfulness for 40 years. At 85, he stepped forward and said, I will claim the land that God has given me. God has promised the Israelites that he would go in front of them in the battle. I mean, Deuteronomy is talking about Deuteronomy. Yosua, he is still reminded of what God did in the life of Israelites. What is the name of the Israelites? What is the name of the Israelites? What is the name of the Israelites? Now give me the hill country. You know how it is, how difficult it is. Amalekites are going to go to the But the Lord will help me. The Lord will help me. And the Lord will help me. And the Lord will help me. And the Lord will help me. Caleb was faithful and Caleb was ready for battle. In our lives, are we faithful to God? Are we faithful to God to say, Lord, I am ready for this battle. I am ready for this battle. You know, one of the themes that as a church we are working on is uh, revival in the land of Singapore. And when we talk about Caleb and Joshua, they were the spies who went ahead and saw what the land is. Indeki, the question is, do we have Caleb's in this place who are willing to step up for God? God is willing. No, 40 years down the line, in our 20 years, 40 years, in our 10 years, in our 5 years, can we come to this place and say, hey, men's fellowship, have we really been faithful to God in our life? Or 10 years, Can we come to a position and say, hey, bro, we have all grown up, our children have grown up, our children have gone to college, our children have gone to college. Can we tell God, Lord, I have been faithful. You know, that is the path that you have to do with your friends. That is the path that you have to do with your friends. Where is Caleb? That is the question God is asking today. Where is Joshua? Where is Caleb? Who will go and conquer the land? Who will go and conquer the land? Where is Joshua? Where is Caleb? Who will go and conquer the land for me? Land in Chulradu, Namun the Desatha Matunla, when we say about the land, it is conquering the spirit led world in this nation, in the Singapore Desa Maharakla, Namun Malaysia Desa Maharakla, wherever God has placed you, or even India, wherever God has placed you, God is calling us to go and conquer. The people, the hearts of people, the people who conquer the people, are going to be in the same way. So, where is our faithfulness? We know we are always faithful in our jobs. We are always faithful in our jobs. We are always faithful in our jobs. Can we turn around and say, Lord, I have been faithful in what I have been doing in my life for you. உங்களுடைய காரியத்தில் நான் தினந்தோறும் ஐ ஹாவ் பீன் ஃபெய்த்ஃபுல் என்று சொல்லி கேன் வி ரைஸ் அப் எவ்ரி மார்னிங் அண்ட் சே லாட் எஸ்டே ஐ வாஸ் ஃபெய்த்ஃபுல் அண்ட் டுடே ஐ வாண்ட் டு பி ஃபெய்த்ஃபுல் அண்ட் வரே நேற்று தினத்தில் ஐ ஹாவ் பீன் ஃபெய்த்ஃபுல் டு மை ஒய்ஃப் டுடே ஐ வாண்ட் டு பி ஃபெய்த்ஃபுல் டு மை ஒய்ஃப் டு எஸ்டே ஐ வாஸ் ஃபெய்த்ஃபுல் டு மை சன் அண்ட் டாட்டர் அண்ட் ஐ வாண்ட் டு பி ஃபெய்த்ஃபுல் வி நாட் ஆஸ்கிங் அபவுட் டென் இயர்ஸ் டவுன் த லைன் கவுண்ட் பண்ணுறதுக்கு இல்லை கேன் வி ஸ்டேக் இட் ஸ்டெப் பை ஸ்டெப் ஸ்லோவாக பிரேக் பண்ணி Can we take our faithfulness day by day? You know, for Caleb to leave 45 years and say, I am still strong and still fight the battle in Suldradukku. It is not the 45 years he had to wait. It is every day he was dependent on God. He was able to do. He was willing to follow God cheerfully and gratefully. Even when he had to endure And the Napatho in the show, it is a long endurance, but he did not ask anything. He did not complain. Now, where are we in our life? Namma indeki in the soul in the letter. Renda hudu paathing enna, he was sincere in whatever he did. Whatever he did, he was very sincere. Yepdi yepdi in getting enna, Caleb comes and meets Joshua and speaks to him and asks him to, and the edatha enneke kudunga abdi in soli itra nanga. கொடுக்கும்போது ஜாஷ்வா டின் சே ஹே அது வந்து வேற ஆளுக்கு கொடுத்துட்டேன் இங்கே கொடுத்துட்டேன் அப்பா என்னால் கொடுக்க முடியாதுன்னு சொல்லலை ஹீ வாஸ் வெரி கிளியர் டைரக்ட் அண்ட் செட் திஸ் இஸ் வாட் த லேண்ட் இஸ் திஸ் இஸ் வாட் ஐ எம் கிவிங் நோ கொஸ்டின்ஸ் ஆஸ்ட் ஏன்னா வென் சம்படி வெரி சின்சியர் இன் யோர் டீம் உங்களோட டீமில் சின்சியராக வந்துட்டு ஒரு நாள் லீவ் கேட்கும்போது யூ நாட் யாருமே லீவ் எடுக்கலைன்னா அன்னைக்கு மட்டும் லீவ் கொடுங்க அப்படின்னு கேட்டால் 
you would not ask edukaga at the same time innorthu vande eppo vaarathukku or leave edukkara nu sonna every time he has a additional leave you'll ask edukaga leave edukkara anything any problem and the mariyaga nama kekka thonum so this is what we need to have in our lives indike nammude vaalkaila let us take a decision to follow god sincerely and faithfully the two more points we will talk about it in the next session now this is the first day of may indha da mudal naala irukirathu may is the first day of workers dinam endru solugrom we are all workers in the hands of god andavarude vineyard la we are all workers considering that into us you now certain things we need to bring into our heart as if you ask me what are the practical difficulties as a church that we face today and where do we need calibs abdin patha number 1 we have a few people who have committed to christ we have a few people who are non believers and we don't have enough people to raise up and study the bible with them so that we can lead them to christ i think i hinted this in my last sermon also in last sermon la kalava petti pesumbodu we need people to spend time with the younger people young adults nare per irukanga few people are married few people are not married those who are 35 and below there are so many people they need our guidance avangalukku nammude guidance theva i'm talking to 35 and above and also uh, those who are above 45 also they need our guidance avangalukku namma vande they just need to be with us to understand what is our love for god and our namakku irukra and the uravu eppadi irukirad endru solli when they know if a man like him can continue to persist on god if a man like him can continuously pray if a man can him can trust in god then i can do if not we will see lot of things crumbling in their life new family is coming into our church we need men to rise up we need families to rise up to handle them to say andavare in the kudumbo in the edathukku varudhu neenga avangala vali nadathunga no we need leaders to raise up like caleb who are faithful to what god is calling us to secondly we need people who are pure in heart irudayathila unmai ullavanga you know there are certain things that are happening which we need to remove in our lives not only as the specially the younger people people whose uh, families are away we need them to be strengthened in the principles of marriage they still need to hang on with their loved ones at the same time they know that they are here for only a short while we need to have purity in their lives we need to have purity in the young adults we need to have purity in the teens we need to have purity as a theme ad engen start avona it starts from god and then immediately it starts from men second if we can have the thoughts pure if we can have direct them into the pure thoughts me the ellame it will fall into line now that is where we talk about leadership god given leadership in our houses in the churches in the places of for influence andavar adukku namakku vali kodukkanum no these are the few things that we want to start off with aneha karyangal irukku the third thing is about the revival in singapore you now we need to go and reach out to families who need our prayer you now if you ask me nareya veedugala visit pannitirukken new people who do not know christ and one thing i always realize is there will be somebody who will rise up to go and pray there will be somebody who will rise up so god can use them you now caleb was strong because he was trusting in god caleb was strong because he was doing it cheerfully caleb was strong he was doing enduring or prayer panuvinga maybe you think you are not ready for prayer the second prayer panuvinga you are not ready for prayer you know i was not ready i was not ready when i started to pray when i go to houses i think am i you know 
Am I going to really pray? I mean, before the pastoral phase. Am I going to really pray? Do I need to pray? But I said, there is nothing different going to happen if I don't pray. And a Jebit, Anglore Walkel or Asir was our own son. A Jebit, Anglore Walkel or Verbad were on son. If they are delivered from something, then I will pray. So then we started to pray in every house we go. Now that is what you don't have to be at the top of everything to do something for God. You don't have to be a pastor to go and visit a house and pray for them. If we don't do it, then the Amalekites are going to come into our houses. If we don't do it, then the Canaanites are going to come into our houses and spoil our thoughts. And they will say, this is how you have to do. This is how you have to do. This is what you need to do. And then you'll realize you have lost your position. That is very important in the battle. And we are in a spiritual battle, friends, brothers. We are in a battle. And that is why in the Uru Master Kalama we have been meditating upon Joshua. And I know that so many of you have read through the scriptures. God was behind them. And in Nekula Vasanamo, it is very clear it can be only achieved by the Spirit of God. And the Spirit of God, when you pray in a house, you are not praying, you are asking Spirit of God to minister to them. When you speak to somebody, you are asking the Spirit of God to minister to them. You are not resting on, you are not standing there. You are asking the Spirit of God, I am going to stand there, fill me up with the words. When you trust, God will put the words into your heart. That is what and where we are. And that is what we want to be. To be raising as scallops. When we see a strong people, men force as strong as ever, then you will know how things fall into place. If we as men are weak and feeble in our spiritual life, if we as men cannot stand up and say, hey, this is something that is not by the Spirit of God, then we are letting the Amalekites and Philistines and Canaanites and everyone to conquer our place. They will come and say, this is what it is happening. This is what you have to do. This is how we have to do. And various thoughts coming in, it only lets the unity of things around us to be disappearing. Let's keep this very clear and simple. The kingdom of God has to progress. Either be it in, in this place, in the Singapore Desama Harakla, Malaysia Desama Harakla, Myanmar Harakla, Sri Lanka Harakla, India Harakla. When we men can come together and pray, when we men can come together and sit in the presence of God for one hour, when we men can come together and say, hey, I want to study the Bible. Hey, I want to bring my friend and say, I want my friend to study the Bible. It's not that you bring and say, Pastor, pray. You need to bring and you need to minister to them. It is not to bring. I'm not calling you to bring a friend and say, Pastor, pray. Pastor, study the Bible. No, I'm asking you to study the Bible. I'm asking you to study the word. Everyone can handle the word of God when we sit in the presence of God. There are so much of resources available. Even we have right now media. All we need to sit and apply ourselves. If we can apply ourselves, we can raise more people. Men leaders. Young leaders. Young men and people who are young adults. Men. So we need to say, where are we? What kind of generation are we building? What kind of generation are we bringing to this place so that God can use them? Now God promised Caleb for generations to generations. Now so no, no, his daughter was given the land. God is willing to bless our generation. He's also willing to lift the next generation. He's willing to step the new generation. 
And look at how many people are in Zoom today and who all missed out. We know who all missed out. We know why they have missed out. We know why they are unable to come together. They need the word of God. They need the prayer. They need that and the one-on-one attachment. They need that relationship to be tied up together. 